Hello Internet and welcome back to a kind of experimental cataclysm video. You know, I wasn't really going to make one this week, but there is something new that I feel like needs to be addressed. And honestly, it's it's a big enough thing that doing a standalone episode for this issue should be fine. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about the way that CBMs work now, which includes the autoclave, which you may or may not know about, uh, the pouches, uh, dirty CBMs, sterile CBMs, how that all works. Um, and so I've set some things up here in the field and we'll talk about them as we go. Now, first off, so you're going to be playing the game and you're going to find yourself a CBM. Well, the best way to do that is generally to kill some monsters that have CBMs and then butcher them. So we're going to butcher these zombie corpses. I have given myself a very high uh, skill set in pretty much every regard, so we should be pretty much guaranteed to get some CBMs. Okay, so here we got the faulty integrated toolset CBM filthy. So we're gonna look at this and we're gonna talk about what exactly that means. So here we got a CBM from the corpse You'll see it's listed as filthy, and it has the word faulty in front of it. So the first thing I want to point out, uh, obviously we, we just went over that. Uh, basically, this is a compact bionic CBM, uh, requires a autodoc or surgeon. Then we have this piece of clothing is filthy. Now this is new. Uh, CBMs are now filthy when you harvest them from bodies. Kind of makes sense, right? Uh, we also have faulty, which means it's already been deployed. This bionic needs to be reset to its factory state. Basically, that means that it was inserted in another human being or whatever and uh, needs to be reset in order to be reinstalled in a new person. And so the way that you do this, you would select the item from your menu and you would go down here to mend which will prompt you on fixing this and putting it back in that, that in, it's like a factory reset. Put it back in the state it needs to be in in order to be inserted into your body. So we're gonna try to mend this. Now, mend which fault? So this means that it's already been deployed. It would take us about 45 minutes. There are some skill requirements which should not be super difficult. The first aid to four can be a little tricky if you don't have a book. Uh, first aid is a little difficult to raise through crafting. Uh, same with mechanics. I always struggle with mechanics, but other people don't seem to. So, you know, your results may vary. It also requires a tool with fine bolt turning and a fine screw driving. Um, the toolbox has both of these qualities. I do not know if a wrench has fine bolt turning or just regular bolt turning. Uh, same with pliers. So I don't know, but you're going to need fine bolt and fine screw driving. Uh, in order to, to do this. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, which again, will take this deployed CBM and put it back in its initial factory setting. So now it doesn't have the faulty tag anymore. It simply has the filthy tag. Well, how do we clean something? Well, uh, there's a couple ways that you can clean CBMs in the game. Number one is with a sponge, uh, which is why we have a water source here. If you have a sponge, you would activate it from your inventory and it would bring up the uh, same menu as when you wash clothing. You will select the items that you want to clean. Uh, this will require some kind of cleanser. I have detergent in my inventory currently, and we have an infinite water source. So we're gonna clean this. Uh, alternatively, so this is, this is where things get a little bit tricky because a CBM needs to be clean and it needs to be sterile. And these are two slightly different things. When you get a filthy CBM like the one we just had from the body, that implies that it is covered in gross body part stuff, maybe some blood, maybe some chunks of flesh clinging to the intricate pieces of the CBM, and so on and so forth. And so you need to clean the larger clumps of um, you know, tissue and, and debris from that device. And then it needs to be sterilized, which will take that a step further because you cleaning a CBM with a sponge and some detergent is not the same thing as making it sterile to the point that it can be used for surgery. Um, those are two, two different things. So we've cleaned it. We've gotten off most of the gunk. And if we look, it no longer has the filthy tag. Um, I do also want to point out that uh, it's not in the game yet, but there's a PR currently that will allow you to also place CBMs in a dishwasher so that they can be cleaned from the filthy, filthy status. 
Used to be you could put them in a washing machine, but they took that out because washing machine, there's a lot of agitation, you know, spinning around that would likely damage the CBM. But in a dishwasher, it's actually, you know, you've seen dishwashers. They don't move the actual dishes themselves. They simply move the water and cleanser around it. So those are the ways you can clean a CBM. So we have a clean CBM that is no longer faulty. And here we have an auto dock. But if we go to install this, you'll see that it prompts us that the CBM is not actually sterile. It might be clean of the majority of organic matter, but it's not sterile to the point where the auto dock would be willing to install that in your body. This would still cause infection, uh, particularly because we're pulling from a zombie's corpse. You maybe don't want some of that organic matter inside of your person. And so how do you how do you take something to sterile? Well, that's where the autoclave comes in. So this is what an autoclave looks like. Uh, this is the furniture version of the item. You will find these, to my understanding, they're currently only in certain labs, but they're probably also going to make an appearance in doctor's offices, uh, maybe even in vet clinics. Uh, to my understanding, an autoclave is a real world tool, a uh, piece of furniture, piece of equipment, that they use for sterilizing materials for surgical processes. And so they appear in places like, maybe if your dentist, uh, if your dentist's office does surgeries, could very well have an autoclave. Pretty much every hospital would have one. Uh, the research labs in the game would likely have them, probably regular labs as well. Doctor's offices may or may not have them depending on, you know, what kind of layout it's supposed to be. But these are probably going to appear in more places in the game than they currently do. Currently, I believe they only exist in labs. So this is the furniture version, but there is also an itemized version that you can... I assume you can craft this. I actually did not look if you can craft. Um, so let's, let's real quick, let's give our character all recipes and see if we can craft the autoclave. Uh, apparently not. Can you construct an autoclave? Please ignore my... Uh, Discord overlay, I could swear I turned that off. So it does not look like you're currently able to craft an autoclave. We were discussing this in the forum or in the Discord today about whether or not such a thing is feasible. It looks like you're probably going to be able to craft the autoclave at some point. I guess we should talk about what it is. Uh, if we look at this item, uh, it says that this is an autoclave. It is useful for sterilizing things like CBMs. Uh, the itemized version draws a lot of power, however, and would require a heavy battery, which is takes a long time and will consume a lot of your battery. The actual large furniture item does not require a battery and is assumed to have been powered by the world around it in some capacity. Uh, it has power. We can just use this machine. Uh, and the gist of an autoclave is that you place bags inside of it, and inside of those bags are the tools that you're looking to sterilize. The autoclave uses heat and pressure. It's like a pressure cooker uh, mixed with uh, like hot, I, I, I think steam and things all get in this pressure cooker and it sterilizes the materials inside the bag. Uh, so in order to use an autoclave, you also require autoclave pouches, which you will place your CBMs inside of. Now it's one CBM per pouch, um, but it looks like you can fit multiple pouches in an autoclave at once. So we need an autoclave pouch. We'll pick one up. We will activate it. And we will place our integrated tool set inside of the autoclave pouch. Now we have a CBM that has been packed. So it's been packed inside of the autoclave pouch. We would come over to the autoclave. We would drop it inside of the autoclave. And then we would use the examine menu to start the autoclave. Uh, the, this now begins the process of clean of sterilizing that CBM. And if we look, it says the cycle will complete in an hour and a half. So we'll go ahead and we will wait for an hour and a half, 30 minutes, and it should be done in two seconds. Oh no. So now it's done and you'll see that it has the sterile tag. And because it has the sterile tag, we can actually now install that bionic into our person. 16%, that's fine meticulously cutting your right hand open, stitching my hand back up. And there we've installed our integrated tool set CBM. Nice and easy. Uh, it took a little bit of work uh, to do that. Obviously the process from pulling it out of a creature, cleaning it in some capacity, and then finding a way to sterilize that unit. It's so many more hurdles than there used to be. Used to be you just pluck it out of the 
out of the enemy. If you have manual on, you just jam it in your torso and you, you've got what you want. And if you don't have the manual installation on, you would just come to an auto dock and, and plug it in. That's no longer the case. There is uh, much more work to be done. Pick up the Burnout Bionic. I don't think you can install these anyway, but okay. Um, and so it, it's some extra steps. You, you clean it. You have to mend it. You have to sterilize it before you can install it. It's, it's a lot of hurdles. I imagine a lot of people are going to feel real strongly about this. On the Discord, it seemed like most people were supportive of the idea. Um, it's just a question of nailing down all the details, like um, mending uh, the Bionics. It seems like it will always require the same skill level and the same tools. I asked if they were going to implement uh, multiple different kinds of faults that would require different levels of, or not different types of faults, but rather would the difficulty of resetting a CBM depend on the CBM? So obviously uh, something like the um, integrated tool set that uses your hand is not a super complex CBM when you compare it to something like the joint torsion racket, ratchet, which actually would be a full body kind of situation, I believe. Or maybe they are just the legs. I kind of think that they're sort of everywhere. But you know what I'm saying? It might require more skill in order to reset certain CBMs back to their factory default than others. Um, and the response I got was that that's probably not really possible with the way things are set up right now. Um, but uh, keep an eye on that because I imagine that it should be that way, in my opinion. It should be more challenging for certain CBMs, uh, and that may change in the future. Um, the question over whether or not you can craft the autoclave, I mean... I don't know. I, you know, I'm not skilled in that regard. I didn't even know what an autoclave was until today. Um, and the pouches themselves are actually like specialized pouches. Uh, this is a medical device that bears the approval of the FDA. Uh, if used properly, these pouches can keep things sterile indefinitely. Um, and so that's important to know as well. If we pick up the CBMs after they've been autoclaved, we can just store them. We don't necessarily need to install them straight away. We could store them for any length of time. They would remain sterile because they remain inside of this pouch. Uh, these are self, self sealing pouches that are meant specifically to withstand the heat and pressure and moisture inside of an autoclave. And so odds are good that we're never going to be able to craft these in the game. Even if we can craft the autoclave, we would still have to go out and find these pouches. And I know that a lot of people hate stuff that is locked behind RNG like that, but I figure it will be very similar to the anesthesia kits. You know, at first everyone was very angry at how rare the anesthesia kits were. Um, but then once, you know, once they kind of realized that they would be most places that have surgery, it became a lot more common in the game. And since these autoclaves are probably going to show up in multiple locations, pretty much all of those locations would almost certainly have some of these pouches prepared for cleaning their surgical tools and things. So hopefully that all makes sense. I know that it is a little bit of a complex thing that we're not used to. It is a new feature. This change started about, well, like honestly, like a month ago, this change started. But the autoclaves and things have started showing up in game as of like a, less than a week ago. Uh, it's still being refined, still being worked on. Um, a lot of people, just for an FYI, a lot of people have been complaining about the battery powered autoclave, specifically the amount of charges required for it. Um, it doesn't look here like you could put a UPS in it uh, because I think it would say in the compatible magazine section, but. Uh, there was at least a time when they would allow you to put a UPS in it. And a lot of people were saying you actually had to recharge it multiple times before it would finish its cycle um, and it would completely drain the battery. So obviously these furniture ones are much more of the ideal situation because they draw power from elsewhere. Uh, and I'm really not sure where you would find a portable autoclave. So I do think it's a bit strange that uh, these exist in the first place. I kind of believe they should be furniture only items. Just my opinion. Um, you know, it's it's a giant pressure cooker. I feel like that shouldn't be super portable. Um, but just my opinions, of course. Uh, so hopefully you have an understanding of the new system. Uh, harvest, mend, clean, sterilize, install. 
it's pretty much that simple. It again, extra steps that a lot of people are going to hate, but you know, I think it's a good change. I think it, you know, it never made sense. You could just cut out a sur- you know, something that was surgically implanted in another human being. You could just rip it out of their carcass, never clean it, never address uh, anything about it, and just have a doctor or a, a surgical couch jam it into your body in that state. I never liked that. Uh, so I think it's a great change. It is going to frustrate some people. It is extra work, but but I like it. Um, so hopefully I've equipped you to handle yourself. Hopefully you understand what's going on. Uh, so that's going to do it for now. Probably going to market this as an experimental cataclysm video, even though it really isn't. Um, and uh, hopefully it helped. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I'll be back with more cataclysm in the near future.